This very efficient video will demonstrate how to collimate, which is a very fancy word for a line, the primary and secondary mirrors of a Newtonian telescope. So here we go. All right, pay attention. Here's the stuff you're going to need. A collimation cap, some aluminum foil, a tape measure, a pencil, permanent marker, and masking tape, a compass, ruler, and a cotton towel, scissors, a Phillips screwdriver, small hiking headlamp, one quarter inch reinforcement label, soft gloves. Now that you've got all your gear, let's get started. Let's create a collimation cap. A collimation cap is a plastic cap with a small hole in the center of it so that you can see exactly down the center of the focuser. Most telescopes come with a small but solid plastic cap that covers the focuser opening where lenses are inserted. To make one, super easy, you get a drill, you get a 1 8 inch drill bit, and gently drill a hole in the exact center of the cap. Then, get some aluminum foil, cut it to fit, and jam it down inside the cap. And that's it. So you've got the cap made, place it in the focuser. Next. Now we're going to remove the primary mirror. Level your telescope so that it is parallel with the floor. Put on some latex or soft work gloves to protect the mirror surface. Now, go to the back of the telescope and remove the primary mirror by unscrewing the three screws with a Phillips screwdriver. Carefully put the mirror down somewhere safe. The specifications of your telescope will tell you the diameter, also known as the aperture of the mirror. So get out your compass, paper, pencil, and ruler. As an example, my telescope's mirror has a diameter of 130 millimeters or 13 centimeters or 5 and 1 8 inches, but we need the radius of the mirror. So divide the diameter by 2 to get a radius of 6.5 centimeters or 2 and a half inches. Place your ruler on a table. Adjust your compass until it spans the radius distance. Trace out uh, the circle on paper. Now take your pencil and mark the center of the circle. Draw any line through the center of the circle from edge to edge. Use the edge of your ruler or a business card or uh, anything else with a good right angle on it like a post-it note that I'm using here and place a corner of it at the center of the circle and perpendicular to the line you just drew. Make marks at the edge of the circle and then draw the second line. Now, connect all the points on the edge of the circle. Check it out, it forms a perfect square. Cut out the square. Take a pen tip and poke a good hole in the center that is highlighted yellow on my paper square example. With gloves on your hands, gently place the paper square on the mirror surface. Line up all four corners anywhere on the edges of the mirror. Voila, you've just found the exact center of the mirror. Take that permanent marker and make a tiny dot through the hole onto the mirror. Get a reinforcement label and stick it exactly in the center of that dot you just made. Congratulations, you're done. On to the next step. Don't put away that compass just yet. Get to your telescope and measure the inner diameter of the tube. We need the radius. So divide the diameter in half to get the radius, which is going to be on my telescope, 3 and 1 16th inches or 7.75 centimeters and use the compass to draw a circle on another piece of paper. Also trace out an inner circle at the center of the paper circle you just made with a radius of 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters. Draw any two lines that intersect at the center of the circle. Now cut out the inner circle. Put a strip of masking tape across the open hole. Using the previous centering traces, line up a ruler and recreate the center of the circle on the masking tape. Take a permanent marker and mark the center spot on the tape. Now tape this tool on the end where the primary mirror is installed at the back of the mirror. It's time to center the secondary mirror. This part is going to test your patience a little bit, but there's two big goals here. Physically centering the secondary mirror in the focuser tube and getting a perfect circular image of the paper circle in this mirror. Take a tape measure and measure the exact distance from the front edge of the telescope to the center of the focuser. Place the tape measure inside the tube. 
using uh, the headlamp or any kind of handheld flashlight where you can take off the, uh, the head of it. Shine it into the tube, up into the focuser while looking through the collimation cap. And adjust the secondary mirror housing with a Phillips head screwdriver until the center of the mirror exactly lines up with the end of your tape measure. Next, while looking into the collimation cap, loosen the three hex head adjusting screws and gently rotate the housing until you can see a perfect circle of the paper template. Then secure it with the three hex tool screws. Take your time, this isn't a race. From the back of the tube, hold the headlamp or flashlight so that it shines through the slots into the paper template. Look through one of the gaps in the inner circle towards the secondary mirror. The goal is to be able to see the complete outline of the focuser tube as well as the collimation cap centered in the secondary mirror. If you really want to nail this part, turn on the red light lamp feature of the hiking lamp and shine it into the collimation cap. The tiny point of red light should be in the exact center of the focuser tube when you're looking into the tube from the paper template end. You may need to play around with the three hex head alignment screws to get it just right. And when you're satisfied with the results, remove the paper template. Okay, we're almost there. Now we're gonna reinstall the primary mirror. On the back of the primary mirror mount, unscrew the three adjustment knobs just until they are barely loose. And also loosen the three locking screws all the way using a screwdriver. Now looking into the focuser tube through the collimation cap, adjust the three larger knobs on the primary mirror until the center of the reinforcement label is exactly centered in the collimation cap hole. Then engage the locking screws to keep the mirror in place. If you have a really large Newtonian telescope, you may need a friend to help you out with this. Once you've done all those things, you've made it, you're done. Now your telescope is collimated. Thanks for watching.